Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher from Controlman Icon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can use the Image Viewer. Image Viewer here is located under the Tools menu, and Image Viewer, and this will allow us to view images that we've just captured. So if I was to uh, take a shot, and I'm just connected to a D7000 here, this shows me what I just captured. It will display JPEGs and Nikon RAW file formats, and if you're shooting JPEG plus RAW, it'll always show the JPEG. If you're viewing RAW, it will show the preview JPEG image that is embedded within the RAW file. If you click on this bar on the left hand side, it shows you the histograms, and you can rotate the image if you need to. You can also turn a loop on and off to magnify. At any time you can resize this image. So if you are using netbook you can make it quite small if needed. Or if you have an extra monitor you can move it onto an extra monitor and make it quite big. Now you can't browse using this image viewer. You can't go to different folders and open up different images. It will only show you the image that you just captured. So, if you would like to have a more capable image viewer, Controlman Icon supports exporting to several different image viewers. And, and I'd like to suggest here that if you don't have an image viewer, try the free Nikon View NX2. And it's a, it's a free, very capable image viewer made by Nikon. Now let's take a look at some of the alternatives for using the image viewer. We can go to the Tools menu, down to Preferences, and here we can use Windows Explorer so if we shoot it's going to open up Windows Explorer to the folder where you're saving your images and you always save your images to the folder specified here in the profile and the current profile is Macro Flowers Sunflower so if I go back into preferences you can also see that we can export to Adobe Bridge and so if you select this and you take a shot, it will start up Bridge and it will select that particular image. And these image browsers can normally be pointed at a particular folder and you specify that folder as a watch folder within those programs and so anytime a new image is deposited into that folder it's automatically loaded up and displayed in that imaging application. And that's it. That's how you use the built-in image viewer in Control My Nikon. Happy tethering!